On March 17, 1865, President Abraham Lincoln addressed the men of the 148th Indiana Regiment. Whenever I hear anyone arguing for slavery, I feel a strong impulse to see it tried on him personally. Twenty-nine days later, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. We will never truly know Abraham Lincoln's personal motivation for crafting the Emancipation Proclamation. And perhaps his reasons are of no consequence today. Through a unique collaboration with the National Archives in Washington, D.C., the Henry Ford was granted the privilege of displaying the actual Emancipation Proclamation for 36 hours. The Henry Ford planned and prepared for this once-in-a-lifetime event, but had no way of knowing exactly how many people would come to see it, or the impact it would have not only on visitors, but members of the Henry Ford staff. At 7 o'clock p.m., June 20th, 2011, the Henry Ford opened its doors to the public free of charge. Today is a special day at the Henry Ford. It is wonderful to welcome you here tonight to what truly is a once in a lifetime event. The Emancipation Proclamation. This document, I can assure you, is more than a piece of paper. And what happened over the next 36 hours was nothing short of inspiring. On they came people of all ages and from diverse backgrounds. People just started streaming in the museum entrance. There's no other word I can use to describe it. I know a lot of people waited long hours to see it. I mean, there were young white kids, young black kids. Family after family, old people, young people, disabled, abled. It was just astonishing. On they came, not to debate history or civil injustice, but to take part in something larger than themselves. One woman had commented, I've been on my feet for seven hours, but slavery was a lot longer. And it just, it was all inspiring and, and powerful. On they came. All people should rejoice in what was behind that document. Because on that day, in that time, America became a better place. What we saw from all the people was a snapshot of our country. And that's Lincoln's legacy. And that happened to thousands of people. For most of us, the Henry Ford provided a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Perhaps not to celebrate the writ of a president, but rather to experience its legacy. In freedom, we are all united.